a look at you. I don't know about where you guys are, but around here, these are pretty much gone. Actually, would you say so that you have dats and sickness? I do, yes, a little bit. Slight <laughs> dats and sickness. Well, that is just uh, looks factory in there. Yeah, that's in a, there quite it's nice. It's a very nice example of a 510. Uh, these are very hard to find that are not completely garbage. I may have to overdub <laughs> some of my narration. So that is a uh, JDM two liter. Two liter out of a uh, Sylvia. Sylvia. A Japan imported right. right hand drive Sylvia. Right. Nobody wants them because they don't have a big turbo on them. Right, right. But so they work nice in these. They're nice for this, yeah. Well, that is awesome. And the car is very, very decent. Uh, you actually bought it like this. It's kind of an unfinished project. <clears throat> so we've done some welding on it already. Done some light repairs here and there. Ash has already put on a quarter panel repair. My job today is I'm going to uh, I have to rebuild this dog leg and then we can get started on the bodywork. Um, I don't know how much bodywork there is to do but it looks pretty clean and uh, I guess the fun of this is that we're trying to do this car what, by the end of the week, eh? Yes. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun because sometimes cars sit around here for a year. So we're going to just uh, do the proverbial dust in. It is a nice red car originally, so we're putting it back to red. And it has very nice doors, has very nice fit. There's very little to do. It has no handles. Apparently. Wow, the jams are clean. Very nice, very nice car. Wow, really nice. So just needs uh, just a little tidy and uh, some light repairs here and there such a great example. These cars turned to dust in about six months in Canada, so very lucky to find one. All right, well, we'll join the uh, Dats project uh, in progress very soon here. Who's been in here? Yeah, it looks like a, another day at the office for Frank. Now we gotta start to uh, actually make some actual fucking plans. So we have the overall kind of gist of it, right? So now we wanna just kind of like start to actually assign it a location. Like then, we'll like this. working from the same place every time.
this all seems pretty close. Sneaking up on it. There's our finished dog leg repair. Uh, pretty happy with that. Not really much to uh, to try and hide there. Actually, turned out really nice. Um, just uh, just whistled her in there. So now we're on to the body work on the car. Somebody had already started the car years ago. They got it as far as primer, and we quickly blocked the car uh, a little bit just to see what was going on, and it was uh, nowhere near ready to be primed. So we're going to uh, quickly just quickly redo all the bodywork. <laughs> uh, right, business yeah, as right. usual. Right, that's right. Just same yeah. old. Uh, okay, so same old fun, same old shit. Uh, we're gonna start uh, doing the bodywork then. Just uh, you know, it's nothing terrible. It's just a, you know some low spots, some spots that were, you know. I mean, I don't know what to say. I don't know how guys get cars to this point with still having dents this big in them, but whatever. That's what we're gonna fix. Uh, that's it, uh, yeah, right? That's some Splasheroo, day two. Ash is getting ready to, uh, uh, we're gonna box liner all the wheel wells. So that all has to be masked. And uh, I'll start doing the bodywork. What time is it, Frankers? It's time for my classic tire. O nine five one Tash eight six. Oh yeah, there's another copy of it. This tire deserves a good car for a wheel. This is the wheel we're gonna use, and we will reveal the reason why we chose this rim uh, in a moment or never. I don't know. We don't edit this stuff very carefully. Came you may remember six. this classic tire came from the 1953 pack. Came out. Oh, I just gave it away. Oh no. It's the 53 Packard. Yep, because the Plycron came out in 68. Scott, it was called simply the round tire. The round tire. Basic. The round tire. That was their pitch. Was it's their round. Pitch. And they showed all it was was an ad. Because it was a basic tire, wasn't it? <laughs> it was a basic. This is a basic. This tire is base. And it was. Yeah. The thing got mild though. That's mild. I think the rim will clean up. And so I think that. That's nice. I, uh. I think we should clean this up. I don't know. I, I mean, part of me says don't even touch it, but oh, to me, this up. thing's got to be shined yeah, up, right? Like, it is new. It's not like this is a Rembrandt, right? It's a fucking tire. So, uh, let's get a B4 shot. I think they were still making tires, though, for older cars. Like for older yeah, well, this might, this is my question, is, is this the car, one of the first kind of uh, tires that you could buy for, for older cars, cars you know? Cause there's another one of these outside mm -hmm. on the front of the 50 Plymouth. Mm -hmm. It's got 
Oh, hey, font. All the font guys are like, slow down. Let us see the font. You want me to wipe it off? Hey, oh, no, no. This is You're just the first for rough font. pass. You want never for want for font, font <laughs> on this show. Look at that. Nice. What's Ooh. up, Mini Frankers? There's never the star used. of the show. Never, ever Franker never. says, whatever you guys, I don't care. <laughs> but Frank Frankers, you have to like get your lines right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's turn it on. Is it even I plugged in? Plug it in. <sighs> Call the production people. Get an electrician down here. It's there. Uh, what's all that? Okay. Some numbers. Uh, that's some numbers there. Okay, what what's the uh, what's the name of the game, gentlemen? What do we call this? <laughs> Balancer Bingo. Okay, it's a new classic tire feature, Balancer Bingo. So we mounted up the Remington Cushion Air, probably one of the best classic tires we've ever had. Right, Frankers? Boy, good girl. Are you having fun? What's your guess? So the idea is that we are going to uh, we're going to try and guess by how much this old cow is out of round or rather out of balance i guess you guys check it out it's really pretty, pretty square weird. actually yeah uh what is frankers barking about frankers what are you doing what's your problem <coughs> you're quite loud do you need to go somewhere do you need to go to bed is it bedtime <coughs> yes uh so we're gonna <laughs> We're gonna tape over the numbers and spin her up. Uh, Justin's first. <laughs> I don't even know you guys. I gotta get a ballpark from you guys. Oh, yeah, you're just reading? Really? really? Yeah, me too. We're doing ounces. I'm okay. Confusing. All right, I'll go first then. It's only fair. Sure. It's my stupid show. I didn't take well, it's a stupid sub, sub game on a stupid show. Yeah, that's right. Up this with. is a stupid small <laughs> part of a stupid or larger stupider theme. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna say. Do we need to write this shit down? Oh, Damn it. Really Who's got a pen? No, Who's got a pen? I got my book. Have you? I don't know. I'm going to say 3.75 and 1.75 on the right. Okay. That's pretty good. No, 3.75, 1, 1.75. That's right. Justin? Justin? Right? Sit back. Get a feel for it. I don't know. What do you think? You've ridden some tires. <laughs> Frankers, don't hurt your nose. Frankers, get your nose out of there. Frankers doesn't care about this game at all. Yo, what's your guess? 2.5 on the inside and like 3... 2.5 on the left. 3.5 on the right. 3.5 on the outside, which is the right. Yeah. Okay. Spin up the wheel of... Of what? The wheel of mystery. Spin up the wheel of mystery. Well, oh, and don't say that the the label is throwing it out. How wanky is she? She's pretty square, you guys. What? I'm gonna lowball it with lowball. Three quarters of an ounce on the inside. What? One twenty-five on the outside. Three quarters on the inside. That's like Formula One. So he's become one with the tire day. Oh my god! Maybe a three twenty-five on the uh, left. But you didn't even spin it. How do you even know? <laughs> He's playing the odds over That's here. Right. You're just playing like Vegas style. You're playing Vegas bingo. Okay, look at all the flashing lights and shit, eh? Look at all. What are you doing? Uh, I just want to make sure we're in the right. Oh, okay, yeah, good. Because it matters. <laughs> Apparently. All right. No, well, we got to get realistic so numbers. Good. Well, for the first inaugural. Yeah, right. We got to get realistic numbers. Okay, hit it. Episode. Hit her. Oh, the sound. Here it comes. Come on. 300 and 125. Oh, oh my God. I was going to say. Oh, my God. Okay, 125. Steve got the right. Steve got yeah, the right. Yeah, yeah. So. And three, I was gonna say three, and then and three. three, two, five. Who's the lowest without going over? We're doing it prices right style. Point seven. Five. Justin. Yeah. Two, two point, point five. five. Okay. Yeah. So Justin. So who was the closest overall without going over? I'm over on the left, and right. Mm -hmm. Justin's over on the right. Steven is under on both, and Dave is over on both as well. 
So Steven wins like, overall. Oh, big surprise. Tire black belt guy wins tire bingo. Braggers, is this the worst show in the history of man? We got gypped by the tire again. Man, well, what does he win? What happened to the Orson Wells of the tire production world? I'm gonna shut these Where's off. Orson? <laughs> huh? You want these I was gonna make a blooper reel about this show, but then I realized that this show is the blooper reel. <laughs> <laughs> Kids, don't overuse the tire shiny stuff. That, uh, actually, get it, to get the letters here, really. No, it's just a little too much. Yeah. It looks a little bit like the, the Nixon-Kennedy debate. <laughs> Nixon. This is the centerpiece of a fucking world-class bias fly museum. Somebody spent some money, somebody spent some time. They just didn't get it right. But like we've taken more bond to loss than we put on. Right. Right. Good enough. Okay, let's mark the whole car. Yeah, is that where we're at? Just 
believe it's clear. The Bondo Racing Strike. Bondo Strike. That's in dust in day three. <laughs> Morale fading. Supplies low. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh. So, uh, really, we've ignored this for a couple of days pretty <laughs> successfully. But it looks like we're going to actually have to face the reality that this is not going to just paint out, as they say. So, we're going to uh, make a corner for this window. Here, I've already kind of half arsedly made some kind of thing that'll go in there. So, matching that and this and whatever, some grade 7, I'm going to trim that back and then we're going to really start fitting it and cutting away the old one. End of day 3, ready for primer. Got the bodywork kind of sketched in, such as it is, not really doing much there, it's all very nice. Sides of the car have been blocked out and repaired to some extent. Here's the uh, the rust repair on the corner of the window. Turned out very nice. Nothing really to worry about there. Um, I think that's it. She's all blocked out and uh, you know the parts that we're gonna fix are fixed. So, still think it was a good idea? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's going good. Uh, all right, it'll be a better idea in three days. Yeah, it'll be a better idea when it's finished. Well, this is, uh, this is a lot closer than it was a few days ago. Same old shit. 